worthy of the country's first real presidential vote, a spectacle Egyptians hadn't seen before. Former Foreign Minister and Arab League Chief Amr Musa faced off with former Muslim Brotherhood member Abdel Manam Abul Futuh in a live televised debate. Organized by two privately owned TV stations, producers said the two were chosen out of the 13 candidates running because a number of opinion polls suggest they are leading the race. Many turned out in groups to watch the highly publicized event. Central Bank employee Mohammed, a supporter of Musa, said he was very eager to hear what the men had to say. Kicking off the debate, the two candidates outlined their vision for Egypt under their leadership. The state I dream of is a democratic, independent state, giving precedence to the values and principles of Islamic Sharia. A state where the youth can find a job, citizens find daily bread, dignified life. We seek a state where every citizen feels security when it comes to their lives, household, jobs. People in all corners of the country must feel the state's marching towards progress and meeting their needs. Highlighting the perilous times the nation is going through, this debate itself was postponed for a week after deadly clashes erupted during protests outside the defense ministry. Violence sparked doubts whether the vote itself will take place on time, but both the ruling generals and officials in charge of the vote assured there will be no delays. Asked about the recent violence, both candidates said it was handled poorly, but throughout they refrained from pointing fingers at the ruling military council. The discussion included the constitution, tax and health policies, as well as foreign relations. But both candidates failed to detail specific policy steps as they engaged in personal attacks. Can someone who served the previous regime for years be part of the solution after a revolt that toppled the regime? The least of what you've done was being quiet over their crimes. That's inaccurate. I left the government ten years before the regime fell. You opposed the regime in defense of the Muslim Brotherhood's interests, not in defense of people's demands. Despite the bickering, the debate did not change Muhammad's conviction about supporting Musa. We need an experienced statesman, someone who knows the country's internal and external needs and can help us overcome this difficult stage. Many voters say they still remain undecided despite the election being less than two weeks away. How well the show played among Egyptians might just have a role in helping many make up their minds. Raoui Ragh Al Jazeera, Cairo.